Hi, this is Corrine. Today we're going to talk about omega-3s and omega-6s and the ratios that are healthy and the imbalance and the problems that imbalance causes. Uh, we, I did talk about omega-3s in a previous video and it was titled The Fish Oil, so you can go back and reference that if you want the detail on omega-3s. But the problem with fat started when we were told to cut back a lot of fat in our diets. Before that, people were eating about 40% fat of their total diet. And then it started to be recommended to eat between 15 and 20%. And some people who were really trying to lose weight or trying to watch their diet, they were eating even less than that. So everyone was just on this fat-free kick and trying to pull fat out. So that started some of the problems. Then the second thing that happened was the domestication of our meat industry, the poultry industry, and then more recently the, the fish industry. So the domestication also brought the lack of omega-3 in these foods. We used to get omega-3s from all of the meat, poultry, eggs, fish, salmon. Um, so then what started happening in people's bodies is omega-6s started to climb and the omega-3s got lower and lower. Also, companies, manufacturing industries, started finding cheaper oils like safflower, corn, sunflower. All those oils are cheaper and they are polyunsaturate, but they're also high in omega-6s. So our diets got to be more and more omega-6 and less and less omega-3. And the research started to show that inflammation was the result of too much omega-6 in the diet and not enough omega-3. So things like heart disease, asthma, arthritis, even brain issues like ADD, ADHD, depression, all started to happen more and more. So doctors started recommending, you know, take omega-3s or stop eating so much omega-6 in your diet. Um, most of the foods that you do eat, like avocado, nuts, um, you know, a lot of different oils are mostly omega-6s. We can put on our website, you know, some lists of what fats have omega-6 and what fats have omega-3s just to help you understand if you do want to try to decrease some of the 6s in your diet. But the easiest way to improve the ratio would be to take a good fish oil. We've already talked about a good fish oil, so you can go and look and check to see if um, that would be a good one for you. But if you don't take a fish oil and try to do it through food, you may be able to do it. Um, the Eskimos are probably the only population that I know of that can get enough omega-3s, but they're eating wild fish two to three times a day. And most people here don't do that. So I think taking a fish oil probably is a good way if you do have any of the symptoms that I talked about, like heart disease, any immune issues, art arthritis, asthma, ADD, ADHD. There's so many benefits of taking that omega-6 and keeping the ratio in balance. It, we're supposed to be two to one omega-6 to omega-3, but what we find with our standard American diet is it's about 20 to 1. So you can see where the problems are in having way too much omega-6 in your diet and not enough omega-3s. If you'd like to learn more, go to simplyslimliving.com.